Tide Podcast. Here we go. Hello, hello, around the block and around the world. This is the Just My Type podcast, where we discuss, debate, and deliberate all things diabetes. Representing type 2, that would be me. My name is Dobie Maxwell. Representing type 1, the vivacious, the effervescent, the always in the know, Sammy Parker. We'll get to Sammy in seconds. But first, the Diabetes app uh, is sponsoring today's Just My Type podcast. It's a free social community app that brings together both type 1 and type 2 diabetics. And trust us, If there's ever a type three, they'll be included too. Plus their supporters. Hopefully that's you. Find community resources and Sammy and I on the Diabetes app. Sammy, I turn it over to you, my faithful co-host. You seem a little mellow today. What is that? What's the blood sugar? Did you take it? (laughs) Um, I actually, so my Mm. CGM died. So currently I'm finger pricking until I put on my new device after this. Um, But I think right now I'm coasting at like 170. So we're a little elevated. But um, Ooh, it's around okay. that time of the All month right. for me, so my hormones are, my hormones are a little we'll higher, which we'll is get through it. I've been around, me. around that. Just because you're diabetic, that doesn't mean you're alone there. <laughs> we, we can do it. No. <laughs> so my numbers are a little higher, but uh, we're Well, it's we're not my chilling. time of the month, what about I'll you? tell you that. So I'm feeling pretty good that way. And uh, no, no disrespect. <laughs> I am good today. Today's topic, we're going to talk about something that I, every diabetic can relate to, type 1 or type 2. And I'll pass it to you and let you take over. Okay, so the topic is what not to say to a diabetic. And I cannot tell you guys how many times I've had people say the most stupid comments. And that sounds mean to say that, but it's just the truth. Well, it's, it's ignorant. You think it's diabetes. stupid is one thing. And then there are stupid people, believe me, there's no shortage of that. If, if other planets are growing, I'm, they're growing here. Yeah, ignorant. Yes, it's more ignorant. Not in the know. That's why we're here. We're here to, mm-hmm. uh, to educate. Yes. Yes. Yes, but I think it's important to have that like common awareness because I think sometimes, I mean, you can have two different types of people. One person might not take offense at all. And then I like remember growing up with somebody who was diabetic and at school, she was very um, reserved with it and very like shy about it. And so I think she would have taken comments a lot harder. So I think it's important that we talk about maybe what not to say to a diabetic. Maybe we, could, to, we could put this out on a list sure that diabetics could have. Just when they meet somebody, say, hi, I'm diabetic. And just give them the list. You can ask me about anything. Just don't don't, don't say yeah. these particular things. What's, what's the one that pops in your head? Yes. Oh, my. Okay. The number one, that one that comes into my head. That was a tongue twister. The number one one um, is, oh, my. This is the best one. I'm going to do it. Quote, unquote. <laughs> oh my gosh, my grandpa died from diabetes. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's so nice to hear. I'm so happy that you told me that. That's the one I get. I literally got that all the time. Oh my God, my grandma. Well, that's she right. She was 106. She lived through World War II. I'm she like, had a wooden leg. She ate grass. Yeah, she lived yeah. on a farm. She had no running water. But she's exactly like you. Oh my gosh. Like, they could, oh. It was so traumatic. She died from it. I'm so sorry you have to deal with that. And I'd be like, that was rude. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you say that to me? So I think that's one. Do not say that. Maybe say like one of my grandparents had it and I kind of know what it is. But do not say, my grandma died from diabetes. Because it's the first thing like, that pops oh into people's head. Gosh. I think that they say the first thing is, and, and it's a disease. Yep. And it sounds like something that only old people get, which you totally didn't. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, no, it's like, it literally reminds me of like people, like a dark, I don't know, like a deep voice going like the diabetes death disease. It's like the it's Grim Reaper, you know, they come talk with, with the hood on and the sickle and it grabs <laughs> yes. your pancreas and just squeezes it right in front of you. So all the life just <laughs> drips out. Yeah, like Darth Vader. But, but he, yes. Okay, what's one that well, I was thinking about this when we're going to do the episode and you. it's not necessarily what people say, it's mm-hmm. how they say it. You know, they give you the kitty or the doggy voice. Do you ever get yes. that when somebody sees a kid or a dog? You know, ooh, isn't the it tongue. a cute little boy? Isn't it a cute? Ooh, <laughs> yes, you are. You, and it seems uh-huh. that I think uh, that is so annoying and so disgusting to me. I think it should be a prison sentence or, or when someone does a crime and say, okay, you can do six months in jail or yeah. you have to walk around for a week and talk to everybody in the doggy or baby voice. Oh, it's so annoying. I'm like, oh, don't you got look diabetes. at me like I'm Poor a baby. What? Oh, what can we do for you? Boo, boo, boo. Yeah. I bet yeah. you want a candy yeah. bar. Do you want some sugar? What's your sugar? You're going to take a needle. Boo, 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 yeah. boo. Oh, I just want to ball up my fist, 
club them like a baby yeah. seal in a friendly in a customer service kind of mm -hmm. way. It's rude. It's condescending. It is ignorant. Yeah. And besides that, they know nothing. How about this for an alternative? I, I think a good alternative would be, oh, you have diabetes. Gee, I don't know anything about that. Can you tell me a little bit about it? How about that? Mm hmm. Yeah. And surprisingly, I've had some people do that. And I'm like, I applaud you on your kind of like, I don't know, your approach to it. Because I like tell them, I'm like, you don't know how many times I have people say the most ignorant things to me. And I'm like, hello, is there anybody? Well, in to there? me, as a, as a comedian, obviously, when anything comes up that's serious or it's supposed to be somber, the first thing you do is think of, okay, what's the most inappropriate thing that I can say here for comedic purposes? And you can't necessarily say it on stage, but between other comedians, if if comedians would text each other and they would print it, we'd all go to jail because it would be a felony. It's so rude and insensitive, but that's quote unquote, what comedy is. And to me, I think the worst thing you can say to a diabetic, you walk up to, mm -hmm. I got diabetes, just like, how long you got? <laughs> you know, you know, it's like a stage, stage 12 cancer. Oh, yeah. You're circling yeah. the drain. Oh, I just yeah. got diabetes, di di diagnosed with diabetes. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Hey, can I have your stereo when you're dead? <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, you're like, no, no, you know? <laughs> the other one I get is, um, Oh, it's my pet peeve. I'll be hanging out with like a group of people. And this happened to me twice, actually, um, in college. And they were like, oh, my gosh, I swear I'm going to get diabetes after eating this. And and I'm not kidding wow. you. It was like they knew I was diabetic. And it just like the, the sensor there to like not say that was not there. It was like, I swear I'm going to get diabetes after eating this. And I literally would just sit there. And I was like waiting, like, you know what, Samantha, come on. These people have enough decency. They're going to realize two minutes later, no one says anything. How close were these friends? Now, certain like, people could say that to you and you wouldn't mind. You'd laugh. I mean, yes, exactly. And like, these definitely were friends, but I'm not like, they were not my like best friends, but people I like hung out with that were aware of it. But it was like the lack of awareness there was, I remember I was just sitting there like, no, no. Like I was having a fight with my head. I was like, do I say something? No, they're going to realize. Just kidding. They didn't realize. Oh my God, it's been yeah. 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, yeah. They And I literally just looked at them and I was like, you realize that comment you said. Like, they said that so long ago. Why didn't you say anything? I was like, because I thought you guys were smart enough to maybe think so you what just, you just kind of got to clench said. your jaw and finish your meal because if you start a fight, then it gets really awkward and uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm that person that like when somebody says something, I just get quiet because I'm like, I'm either about to lose my shiz or I'm going to just totally ignore them. And I went, you know, to totally I'm going to lose my shiz. I, I like that the way that sounds. That should be a t-shirt. I'm, I'm diabetic. Yeah. Don't lose let me lose my, my shiz. shiz. <laughs> you, you bleep, you bleeper. Bleep -bleep. Yeah. Here's something. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this is a guy thing yeah. or maybe it is. And that uh, women have a different, um, how can I say a meter on what to say to somebody and what not to. And I swear I did not do it on purpose. There was a woman I'm from Wisconsin, the Midwest and where gravy is a beverage, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of heavy people where I live. I love them. But I, I asked a woman, mm -hmm. um, when is the baby due? And she was not pregnant. And uh, that did not go over well. I did not mean anything. Uh, yes. Wait, okay, good. My Lisa mom did, did that huh. too. I thought, I'm not trying to be chauvinistic. I wasn't. Tr yes. <laughs> but my mom touched the belly. <laughs> now, that's funny. <laughs> Even worse. See, see, what comedy is, it's when someone else's yeah. problems are worse than yours. That nothing, nothing is happier than knowing somebody else is doing mm -hmm. worse than you. And I think sometimes, and I'll be the one to, uh, for type two purposes on the on the, our podcast here, that uh, my diet is getting better, but it hasn't been good for a long time. And it's like, whoa, oh, oh, it has actually. I, since I mean, you are an inspiration. Our whole pod squad would like to thank them. Uh, an inspiration to me. I've been exercising regularly. It's like you hear alcoholics talk. Talk, you know. Oh, I haven't had a drink in in three days. I'm sober for four days. And I used to think, boy, you know, four days. That's a big day. Now, you know, I've exercised four days in a row. Mm -hmm. I know how hard it is. So I think the same yeah. thing too. So it's like when when you when you t talk to a diabetic, it's hard to hear. Uh, you know, so, so are you exercising? Th th these people aren't exercising, you know, and they, they, they go, yeah. they go, they look at one website for five minutes and then they're a doctor and they go through all the things that you should be doing. Don't, don't say that to a diabetic. Oh, 
it drives me insane. That like kind of goes along with like, what was the other one? Oh, I had somebody before be like, so is it true? Like the cinnamon, mm. you know, like cinnamon cures diabetes. And I, and I never heard it like God's honest truth. I never heard it. And I was like, what did you just say to me? And they're like, like cinnamon, you know, like eat a lot of cinnamon. I'm like, well, I do eat a lot of cinnamon because I'm a cinnamon fiend, but that does not cure my diabetes. And they're like, oh, I thought it did. And I was sitting there like flabbergasted. I was like, she did not just ask me. Now, I got to be honest with you. I've, I've heard that too. Diabetes. And I only heard that probably in the last year. Is this some yeah. kind of whacked out thing that some goofy website that... I don't know. I'm like, is there somebody who miraculously got cured with cinnamon? Because please, if you know of that person, send yeah, them my way. A, and now now it's just coming up to these witch doctor oh cures. Make up a potion and drink this. I mean, and, and it's on every every website. You oh look at my, it, it's like, oh, yeah. lose 56 pounds in four weeks. That That's just not, it's not realistic. Mm-hmm. And I don't think your diabetes, you're not going to eat yep. a pill. You're not going to eat something in your diet and just miraculously turn it around, especially type one. Oh no, no, not even a, not even a chance. I mean, it's, it's hilarious, but it's people, it's just their automatic reactions. And I think about it cause I'm like, what did I do when I met somebody that was diabetic? But I'm like, you know, I don't, I think I just was more like, what is it? But I've, I've had very, I mean, I've had pretty funny things like even, and if this person is ever listens to this or is listening to this, I apologize for calling you out, but I was taking a shot and with my like insulin pen and um, this girl was like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, and, like, hit her face. And I was like, what's going on? And she's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, ew. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't watch you do that. I can't watch you do the needle. And I was like, wh- which, like, again, like, you can't – nobody can really offend me with diabetes. A shiz? I don't give – I really don't care. You shizless? Yeah, exactly. I don't really? I don't care. Yeah, I don't give a shiz. So I'm shizless, exactly. So I was like – but she's like, oh, oh. Oh, like acting like I was like, you know, I don't know, like throwing up or something. I'm like, what's she freaking out about? I can't do needles. I like just can't do it. I'm so sorry. If you can like do that somewhere else. And I was like, she didn't, she did not. Why don't I take a video on my phone and I'll text it to you? How about that? Uh, yeah, I was like, you did not just say. I was like, well, you can turn away then and close your eyes, and I'm. So this do is a total stranger here. that said this to you. So I'm glad we're on the same page. No, um, no, mm-hmm. friend through a friend. But I was literally mortified. I was like, she did not just like close her eyes, hide from a two, like four yeah. millimeter needle. I'm like seriously, like the I, drama. I, I don't understand people. You know, I just I don't understand where they're going. Here, here's something. I, it's not. Uh, no, it, it's kind of similar. I was at a restaurant, and one of the staff, the servers, was a, a gentleman, probably your age, young man, and uh, mm-hmm. he took this needle out, and he had his the uniform on of the restaurant that he worked at. It was, it was a sit down place. It wasn't a fast food place. And he brought the needle out and injected Mm -hmm. himself like in front of everybody. And the woman at the next table said to her husband, Hey, look, that guy over there is doing drugs on the job. And she really thought that he was shooting heroin or something right out in front, open restaurant. Everybody's seeing him. The guy just did it. And I I mean, I I don't want to say anything. I just kept eating my food. And I was like, Oh honey, I don't think, and he didn't say, well, that guy must be diabetic. He's like, well, I don't, I don't think he would do that at work. Yeah. But, but there's, there's no no clue there. So how? Yeah. hopefully our podcast oh will God. help educate the masses. But I don't know. There's a lot of, you know, yeah. you said dumb, stupid, whatever. I, maybe that's a little harsh word. I, I don't know what it is, but the, a lot of people need some learning. Yeah, they need it definitely some book a little harsh. Hopefully we can I help do that. All you people. Oh, tremendously. I mean, I've even got, what's the other one? I wrote down, one down. Oh, this one was one of my favorites. Um, it was like, well, you don't, you just like don't, I always get this at the gym. I'll be working out and like somebody sees my um, CGM device, continuous glucose monitor. And they're like, they come up to me like, excuse me, excuse me, miss. I'm like, yes. And in my head, I'm like, okay, this is going to go like a couple ways. I don't know which way we're about to go. And they're like, I saw your, uh, your like device on your arm. I'm like, oh yes, it's blah, blah, blah. I'm diabetic. And they're like, yeah, I just find it fascinating. You really don't look like you have diabetes. <laughs> and I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, I wonder if we gave everybody like a notepad or like a whiteboard and we said like, draw somebody that you think is diabetic, like what they would draw. Cause I'm like, it's hilarious to me. Like even then when they're like, you don't look like you have diabetes. And I'm like, well, what do you think somebody looks like that's diabetic? And originally mm. I think they mean Old. like somebody overweight and 
because of the connotation. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what do you like, what do you think like somebody like that looks like? I don't know. She thought they kind of looked like sickly. I'm like, eh. well, that's incorrect. Eh. <laughs> I'm like, you're wrong, but it's, it's, it's funny to me. I mean, I get that one a lot and I'm like, don't, maybe don't say that to somebody that. Well, the thing about, the thing about the diabetes diabetic. is it is the true <laughs> equalizer, the true mm-hmm. diverse, uh, how can I say, uh, entity on this planet. It does not discriminate against anyone of any mm-hmm. genre, young, old. We would talk about that all uh, frequently before. No. And uh, I think there needs to be more education. So if we could just kind of make yeah. it nice, maybe these three things when you meet a uh, diabetic, you might want to say something. Yeah. Well, okay. And another one, this is one that I just think is needs to be said out loud is, um, so obviously everybody has some diabetes burnout days, which just means you're very overwhelmed and you're tired and you just want to crawl up in your bed and watch any kind of TV show all day long. Um, but I think sometimes when you have those diabetes burnout days, the way people try to help you out, and this is a lot of people, including even my family, and I, I love them, and I know that they're just trying to like make it better. But sometimes you want to just like, you want to let yourself feel. You want to like let yourself feel down. You're like, you know what? Today's a down day. And that's okay. Um, and so sometimes they want to be like, well, at least it's not fill in the blank. Like, at least it's not this disease. At least it's not cancer. At least it's not blah blah blah. And as great as that is to keep like an uplifting spirit and to know like diabetes is manageable. But sometimes you're like, I just want to feel sure. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. let me feel my feels. <laughs> so I think that's an important one too, is to not always like, I definitely think it needs to be said, like, you know, at least it's manageable, but I think there's a way again to say it. And like, maybe that's, Hey, at least this disease is manageable, but not, Hey, well, yeah, at that least doesn't really cheer you up. Like, you, know, you, you lost one leg, but at least you can hop. Well, that doesn't no. really help. One I, I can't stand is like, does anyone exactly. else in your family have you're it? Like, like, they're, they're studying genetics. Yeah. And like, just because you're going to be just this, this little yes. cookie cutter, everyone mm-hmm. else in your family has it and you're going to get it too. And so I always tell people, it's like, does anybody else in your family? No, they all had heart attacks totally. and they deserved it. <laughs> That'll shut them up. <laughs> you know, does that make you happy? Yeah. No, but I think there's, yeah, exactly. I think it's like, there's three tips that are like pretty beneficial. I think when you approach somebody with diabetes and I think one of them is like, like you said, just ask them first, like, what is diabetes? Can you educate me in like a couple sentences really quick? And then number two, I think would be, you know, the way you approach it and mm-hmm. like your tone when you ask the question. Um, and do you have uh, any others that nice, you think are like friendly, some good tips? And we're not freaks of nature. We're not walking around just that landed out of the mothership, injecting <laughs> ourselves with needles to make you angry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Yes. Yeah. And, How about and just I think, a, yeah, I'm I think sorry, that's I was the biggest say, one. Give a shiz when you talk to somebody. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. She is Sammy you Parker. I am Joe We're going to be right back. Uh, the Diabetes app, again, sponsors uh, our show today. More to come after this brief pause. Sammy, I think we got a lot off our chest uh, in that first segment. It's good. Me too. I, mean, I'm very, I, I, I know, a lot I know of you're having other, other issues. And I'm trying to be cognizant of that as a, an insensitive male, and I don't mean to point that out. <laughs> no. But uh, I, I want to do a type two tangent. If that's cool no, right I'm now. good. Because uh, now you live in a, in a major okay. city, and I know we have listeners all over the world. So I don't know if it's like that way where you live, but where I live, I'm between two major cities in the United States, Chicago and Milwaukee, Midwestern cities. And I am noticing as I travel, not only in those cities, but throughout the Midwest, that I see signs that are handmade that are uh, on the corners, just street corners. And they look like they are uh, printed. Some of them are handwritten and there's like two little prongs and they're stuck in the, in the grass. And it says Mm -hmm. buying diabetic, diabetic test strips. And there's a phone number to call. They're buying them. And I have to say, when I look at that, Mm -hmm. I know somebody is making money off diabetics. They're buying the test strips, reselling them. They wouldn't be buying them if they're not reselling them for a profit. And it makes me angry. I was going to call the number. I said, you scumbags. I mean, is it, is it the mafia? Is it some underground, uh, uh, you know, cartel somewhere that's making money off diabetics. Now, do you see that where you live? I know we have listeners all over the world. Maybe uh, contact us and let me know. Do they do that in your country too? So, I have never, I've never seen that here, but what I have seen is I have gotten messages before, um, on like social media and it's basically that they're buying diabetes supplies 
to resell them. The issue with this is that there's two types of people that Scumbags are buying and, and reselling. One is they're buying and reselling. Two types of people because I'm I'm in both categories. <laughs> yeah, I get the emails both from both, both clubs. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's hard because I have seen people buy them and sell them. And the reason they're doing that is because some people are having a tough time getting diabetes supplies. And it's diabetics specifically that are buying and reselling them. However, there's also the side of people that are just, hey, sell me your diabetic stuff and I'll resell. And then they resell it totally. So I think it's difficult because I don't see that here. Um, but I think the reason is because I'm over here in California. And if that was if that was the case, people would freak Well, that's the thing, too. I mean, I don't know what the legality is for doing anything like that. And there's uh, the ones I, I first started seeing those signs where I live is we buy old or houses, you know, in any condition, any shape, you know, that whole thing. And it's like, OK, mm-hmm. if you want to get out of a house, I can see that. But then I saw the diabetic test strips and I didn't see it just one time. I, I've seen it at least a dozen times. And these are both cities and they're only about 90 miles apart. But I'm thinking, okay, if it's spreading in the Midwest, and the state of Michigan is, is close too, if you don't know the, ge- the geography, I see I see it spreading in Michigan too. It's Maybe it's a Midwestern thing. I don't know. But if, if it starts here, if someone's making money, it's going to spread everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I think that they probably get away with it because California is so commercialized in so many ways that everything, even they're doing the same thing, but it's through the, the dark net. Everything is regular because I I, I kind of believe that this is a medical yes. thing. I mean, I mean, I, I don't think you have to be a yes. doctor to buy them and sell them, but it just seems. I mean, there are three people. Okay, you, you always see the side hustle, mm-hmm. and I'm all for people having you know making extra money, but it, it's not a medical flea market. You yeah. know, I want to go through. Okay, diabetic test strips, prosthetic limbs over here. Nope. You know, bad glass eye, two for one sale. You know, it's just it's frightening. Yeah, no. What's What's funny is oh, it's going to drive me crazy. There was a kid I went to college with and his parents, or I think his dad specifically like resold medical supplies. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy who it was, but the, the dad bought some medical supplies and resold it like on a website for people, but it was for all different kinds of bedpans are us um, diseases and whatnot. So I think, <laughs> yeah, basically. So I think for that, it was like that one was a legit one and they went through like a company and all of that. And it was like to resell because people were having a difficult time. But I've definitely gotten so many messages like, hey, sell me this and da, da, da. But what's cool is that on social media, like a lot of people will be like, hey, I have extra test strips. Let me know if you want me to send them to you for free. And I'm like, oh, we're all loving and caring here. <laughs> so nice to see. <laughs> but then, then, then I get the messages that are like, hey, if you sell me your old test strips, like I'll pay you, you know, X amount of money. And I'm like, who are you? And what do you well, want with uh, my diabetes they're, they're test They're putting strips? the kids through school, I guess. <laughs> the hard way yeah, uh, yeah that's for <laughs> sure yeah yes you're you're not wrong about that one <laughs> but that's pretty wild that they're like little yeah stands especially like you know, a lemonade stand for a dollar oh what do you need over here so if you're doing it stop someone's going to catch you we're getting the word out here and if you uh, see that where you live let us mm-hmm. know where that is and maybe we could call that number who knows yeah i mean i think that yeah i think that's a very very messed up thing that's going my, on uh, here. My combat boot, right in your, uh, right in your bleep. Oh yeah, you know what's funny is I actually this doesn't really relate, but I guess it kind of does. The amount of times I'll be out somewhere and I see a test strip on a floor, and I can like be like, oh, that's an that's this brand, uh, you know, diabetes meter test strip or i'm like oh that's that test strip but it's hilarious i'll like look down and randomly i'll like see a test strip it'll be good advertising wouldn't it just for the people to go out there just drop one oh try this strip (laughs) yeah i'm like yeah i'm like that's not my test strip but it must be somebody else's or i'll like see like a little like um little sticker to like one of my needles that i'll use for my flex pen and i'll be like oh well that's not mine but that's this brand (laughs) funny there must be a diabetic me around (laughs) I'm like, there must be one nearby. Find my diabetes people. <laughs> well, that was fun, Sammy. Hopefully we dispersed some useful information. Our goal is to entertain, educate, and engage. So we did at least one or two of those, don't you think? Yeah, I think we covered a lot of topics. Um, so if you guys would like to subscribe and rate us, please, and leave a review, it will help us allow the diabetes community to find us more and our ranking will be higher up, which, which will help, of, again, hopefully. engage the community. Yes. Adobe. 
The, uh, yes. How and do Domi, you respond what's our question of the pod when today? someone says something absurd to you about diabetes? Do you laugh it off? Do you get angry? What do you do? We would like to know. So you can subscribe and leave us a rating and review and follow us and answer the question of the pod on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at JustMyTypePod underscore and on Facebook at JustMyTypePod. And you can tag us in a hashtag at JustMyTypePod. So please, again, share, Anybody born subscribe, in the 20th review, century, and We rate. are not on MySpace. Just so you know, we're in the 21st century, baby. <laughs> so, this, so let's end, let's end this. What's the what's the magic word, yes. Sammy? Say la vie, baby.